a foggy day for us here in the Treasure Valley and a chilly one too. current conditions right now. 28 degrees in Boise, 32 in Ontario in the mountains, much chillier, 8 degrees in Stanley, 25 in Haley. So just a little bit warmer in Haley and 19 degrees in McCall. Chilly temperatures across the board and it's going to stay pretty chilly. I mean, we are in winter after all, but the fog, how long is that going to stick around? Looking at the tower cam network, dangerous driving conditions. So if you are headed out on the roads, please be careful. I-84 and 10 mile, I-84 and Eagle, I-84 and Maple Grove and I-84 and Highway 95, actually the clearest camera down here. So looking at I-84 and 10 mile and the other three cameras, pretty foggy. So if you are headed out, please take uh, take extra precautions, drive slowly, make sure to not turn your brights on because that light will be reflected back at you from the um, from the fog and looking at kind of when this fog is going to clear out. So the Treasure Valley is kind of like a bowl. So all of that fog kind of settled into it. So this is um, Monday morning, two o'clock in the morning. That fog cloud cover still there. Likely a wind is going to kind of push it out through Monday morning, 10 o'clock in the after in the evening rather. We can see kind of the remnants of that fog on Monday, and it isn't really until Tuesday that we see really clear conditions. Tuesday night, the fog makes a comeback, so we're going to be stuck with the fog for just a little bit. If you're a duck hunter, though, I suppose this will be quite helpful for you. But Wednesday, we're going to start seeing a little bit more fog conditions across the state and taking a wider look at why we're seeing these conditions. Check this out, this huge system lots of moisture is going to be pushing into our area and it's actually going to soak the entire Pacific Northwest with moisture, rain, snow, mix, the whole works. So looking at that future clouds and precipitation again, Monday through Tuesday and then Wednesday night into Thursday morning, six o'clock in the morning, the whole state covered all of this white, all of this purple, all of that is snow. Portland getting soaked as well. The entire Pacific Northwest is really getting soaked from that system moving in. So as we go through Thursday, it start, kind of starts clearing out. So by Thursday evening, eight o'clock, it's it's pretty much cleared out for the most part. That storm system will mix up kind of the air in the bowl, if you will, in the Treasure Valley, pushing that fog out, but replacing it with snow. So will we have did we have a white Christmas? No, but it's pretty certain that we're going to have a white new year. Moving into Friday, five o'clock in the morning, possible return of that fog. But taking a look at your forecast for the valley, partly cloudy and breezy conditions for tomorrow, 35 degrees in Nampa, 35 in Meridian, 34 in Boise. <clears throat> Mid 30s for the most part throughout the Treasure Valley, 35 in Mountain Home. Moving over into the West Central Mountains, 35 degrees in Garden Valley, mid 30s for the most part through the West Central Mountains as well. Sunny and breezy conditions in the West Central Mountains. Looking to the East Central Mountains, partly cloudy and breezy conditions. Chillier in the East Central Mountains, 23 degrees in Stanley, 34 in Sun Valley. In the Magic Valley, partly cloudy and cool conditions, 39 in Twin Falls, 37 in Shoshone. Taking a look at the extended forecast Monday, like we mentioned, 34 degrees, partly cloudy, but Thursday is going to be the day to watch Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a little bit of showers on Sunday. So Ricardo, I hope you have some snow boots because if you don't, Thursday is going to be a very wet feet and cold day for you. Yeah, I still haven't gotten those snow boots, but I will for sure get them pretty soon.